STEM is a great activity for sparking the imagination. It provides fun and interactive opportunities which all the while are creating connections in the brain and helping children to learn. In essence, STEM is about asking questions. Those questions that we hear every day. How, what, why. And as such, it's a great way of introducing child-led play. So children can think and explore what happens if I do this? Now I'm going to try that. And as such, they are taking responsibility for what and how they learn. It also supports GERFEC, so our health and wellbeing indicators, such as being active and being healthy and being included and achieving. And it supports uh, health and social care standards, as well as curriculum for excellence. And our courses have more detail about how you can do this. So the three STEM courses that we have written have been developed specifically for childminders. They're designed to be used in childminding settings. We have been hearing some great feedback about what childminders have been doing with their children and how they have been engaging with STEM. So this video will showcase some of the brilliant work that you have been doing and we hope it will inspire you to give it a go. Uh, STEM activities are really important because they help children understand the world and prepare them for the future by developing critical thinking and uh, problem-solving abilities. Uh, especially when STEM activities are interacting, children can understand and manage their emotions better, so they adapt uh, social skills as well. When children are introduced to a STEM activity in early years, it helps and it has an impact in their learning and it helps them to make informed choices in the future. I find it easy to incorporate STEM activities into the day because science is everywhere. It's all around us. It's nature, it's the environment, it's the weather, it's science. I use what I have in the garden. I use water, buckets, stones. It's not about specialised toys, it's about using what you have. The children enjoy it, uh, the STEM activities. They're happy and they're engaged in what they're doing. They get excited when they're doing um, exploration and discovery and they get interested in new STEM activities. What we need to do is just take a step back, observe, uh, give them the right materials and environment and just let them do their job. Uh, even a simple walk at the park can be an amazing opportunity for them to learn. They observe nature and how nature changes through seasons and also they develop their mobile skills and they can gather uh, materials for further activities at home and further researching. From how we set the table uh, to why slalom is easier for us to go down a hill with our bikes, all these are STEM activities. Their favourite STEM activities is definitely the water and the ice. They like the water run, the ball run, and the water running down pipes. They enjoy um, melting and dissolving jellies, ices. Uh, they enjoy making bridges and building. All children are included in the activities um, and it's just uh, they, they use age-appropriate tools. So for instance, the older children, if they are breaking ice, will use a hammer to break ice and the younger children would have a metal spoon. I, th I think the children enjoy um, the dissolving the jelly because it, it is a solid turning to liquid and then you can reshape it into lots of different moulds and they see it turning into a solid again. So uh, I'm not sure if childminders have tried that but it's, it's certainly one that keeps the children interested. You can see they enjoy it because you can see the excitement in their eyes when they uh, discover something or they, uh, they understand something new. Uh, for example, how the ice melts if we add warm water or, or how with uh, uh, vinegar, baking soda and some food colouring they can create a volcano. So if a child is really into counting, we can offer constant opportunities for them to, to thrive this skill. So count everything, count steps, count stairs, trees, count cups while baking a cake. Actually, is we don't need expensive materials and we just need to be creative. 
The most rewarding part of childminding is seeing the children develop and learn and be enthusiastic about the activities they're doing. When you go down the slide, the gravity makes you go down it, not up it. We discuss gravity. Why does the bucket fall? Because gravity is pulling it down. We then add stones to the water and talk about the water level rising and why the water level is rising and this, the displacement of water. I have done the Think STEM course from the Scottish Child Mind Association uh, and I would like to thank the Scottish Child Mind Think Association because all the courses that I have taken from them, they are very, very helpful. It helped me simplify and uh, put my thoughts in order uh, with what we have at home and what nature offers us, we can create perfect activities. I have done a STEM activity um, and training with the uh, SEMA online and it was helpful. It really helps you to think about what activities you're doing with the children and why you're doing them. And as childminders, we're doing a lot of these things already. So it's just interesting to, to hear about that and to know that you're doing these activities. And again, the STEM name has is, is been attached to these activities that we already do.